The objectives for today is to know the differences and unique qualities of the three types of volcanoes, composite, shield, and cinder cone. Open up your workbook to page four. You're going to take notes about composite volcanoes. So on the first line, I want you to write vol composite volcanoes, just like you see on the screen. You're going to take at least three notes about composite volcanoes. Do not write complete sentences. These are quick notes. Mount Vesuvius, outside the city of Naples in Italy, is an example of a composite volcano. Composite volcanoes alternate between quiet and extremely explosive eruptions. It sits near the boundary of two of Earth's tectonic plates, occupying a weak spot that lets magma from the mantle rise to the surface in a very dramatic way. On August 24, 79 AD, an enormous chamber of magma far under Mount Vesuvius burst through its cone. The mountain's peak literally blew off. The thriving Roman cities of Herculaneum and Pompeii lay at the foot of the mountain. Over 50,000 people lived there. An explosive eruption called a pyroclastic flow hurled out rock, poisonous gas, and scalding ash. Buildings offered no refuge. They erupted in flames. In all, more than 16,000 people were killed. The volcano's victims were locked in time by the hot ash their anguish preserved in molds left by their bodies. A column of smoke and ash hovered high above the city of Pompeii. Days later, rain fell, setting the ash like concrete and entombing the city until the 18th century, when the eerie scene came to light. Since this catastrophic eruption, Vesuvius has spit and sputtered lava and ash, but not with the deadly force of nearly 2,000 years ago. The next big eruption, though, might be just around the corner. So you should still have your workbook open to page four. So you should have taken quick notes about composite volcanoes. Skip a space and please write shield volcanoes, just like I did on the screen. All right, you're going to watch the video about shield volcanoes and write three quick notes about shield volcanoes. Do not write in complete sentences. Hawaii's Big Island. It's a tropical paradise of palm trees, sand, and sun. But it's even hotter than it looks. In the heart of this island is Kilauea, the world's most active volcano. Kilauea's lava and lava from the island's older volcanoes, Mauna Kea and Mauna Loa, built this island, and it's still growing. It all started here, deep below the bottom of the ocean. A hot spot in the Earth's mantle sends molten magma through the Earth's crust. Over time, lava flows on the Big Island have produced a mountain taller than Mount Everest, if you measure from the sea floor. All of the Hawaiian Islands were formed in this way. A volcano is one way that the heat inside the Earth is released. The heat moves in the form of gushing lava, which flows freely in swelling waves down the mountain, and in this case, into the ocean. Kilauea is known as a shield volcano because of the way its fluid, basaltic lava builds up layer upon layer, spreading out in the form of a shield. Lava from Kilauea flows freely because it is low in silica and its temperature is high. As the lava flows, anything in its path goes up in flames. Kilauea's current eruption began in 1983 and shows no signs of stopping. Its lava hardens into acres of new land every year. Kilauea's volcanic power comes from a hot spot in the Earth's mantle. But shield volcanoes are not the most common or the most explosive kind of volcano. You should still be on workbook page four. You should have just taken quick notes about shield volcanoes. Skip a space and write cinder cone volcanoes just like you see on the screen. You're gonna write three 
for at least three quick notes about cinder, cinder cone volcanoes from the video. Do not write in complete sentences. Shield and composite volcanoes form slowly over many years. A third kind of volcano, called cinder cones, can emerge in just a few years. That's exactly what happened in the small Mexican village of Paracutan in 1943. A crack appeared in a cornfield. It began belching smoke and ash. This process marked the birth of a cinder cone volcano. A cinder cone volcano is a steep, cone-shaped hill made of volcanic ash and cinders that build up around a volcano's opening. Paracutan's pile of rock and ash began to rise. Within a day, a cone measured 12 meters high. A new volcano was born. Within a week, the cone rose 152 meters. After a year, the volcano had risen to 366 meters. It continued to grow. Even worse, it continued pouring out ash. Nine years after it was born, Paracutan covered almost 15 square kilometers of land. Then the eruption slowed and stopped, but not before whole villages had to be evacuated. It has not erupted since, but it's not dead either. At any moment, Paracutan could erupt again. A volcano can have a lifespan of over a million years. Unpredictable, it can lie dormant for hundreds of years, then explode, sleep for another few hundred years, and then erupt again. This is a video about the Ring of Fire, and it's actually a song. You do not have to take notes on workbook page four about the Ring of Fire song, but you can if you'd like. So here you go. Please enjoy. Pacific Ocean Volcanoes Volcanoes Some subduct Others dive Boundaries push and pull aside Volcanoes Volcanoes Melting crust Magma
longer crust A weak spot Molten magma to the top Volcanoes Volcanoes